One is called Art of Camouflage. Uh, my childhood belonged to a country where my parents spoke a language I didn't understand, where red was my favorite color, where the Brooklyn Dodgers were my favorite baseball team, where grade school felt like a minefield, and I was forbidden to say what I knew, read, or heard at the dining room table, where I learned the art of camouflage and the craft of collusion, where my brothers and I made accommodations, deflected suspicions, acquired useful skills that might come in handy now. This one I wrote on last Christmas Day. It's called Resident Alien. My US passport ready. My tattered suitcase wide open, ready to receive fugitive essentials. Vanish now, as I did in 1964, post-Kennedy, death, Dallas, settled Manchester, England, registered with police as resident alien, loved, self-imposed, ex persona, years later, home again, assassinations, riots, lies, napalm, sad, mad, bad time, my dearest English friend called it now there's nowhere to go to get away. Might as well join the resistance along the banks of the Russian River, figure out survival as resident alien in my own country. So that was one of the poems I read in India, and I had to explain what the Russian River was. Uh -huh. Everybody here knows the Russian River, yes. Um, this one is called Dirty People. It seems to be the most popular poem from No Walls. Now, I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure why. I, you know. um, dirty people. I love dirty people. People with dirt under their fingernails and behind their ears. Dirty hippies and dirty immigrants. Dirt farmers who work with dirty hands. Dirty Jews. Dirty artists. In dingy garrets and lofts, all the people with dirty minds, the geniuses who make dirt pay. If cleanliness is next to godliness, save me from the clean and the godly. Christ on the cross wasn't sweet and clean, nor the Buddha sitting under the Bodhi tree, or Moses in the wilderness. Holy the dirty devils, holy the dirty down and out, holy the dirty hippies and the dirty immigrants, Holy the dirty Buddha and holy the dirty Christ on the dirty cross. Well, that was another one I read in India and I, uh, I explained, I said, I think Americans have this kind of obsession with cleanliness and, and, and washing and spick and span and germs and, you know, when flu season comes, you know, you know, people don't want to touch any surface. You know people like that? Or maybe you're like that. Or I even get like that, yeah. Uh, and this is the um, this is the last one in in the book. I mean, there's some dark stuff in the book, but I didn't want to end it on like a real pessimistic, uh, despairing tone. So this is called Red and Green, and this was written on the 12th of January, 2017. Swollen river, breaking banks again. County roads, muddy waterways, houses flooded, rain menacing my sky and the fields outside my window, now homes for elegant white egrets. The camellia bush outside the college library beginning to bloom again. The tight, bright, erotic red buds embraced by green leaves. Spring ready to sing its song again. And then there's a couple of poems that were inspired by um, listening to the radio or hearing the news or reading a newspaper. Uh, this one I wrote on the 25th of November, and it's called 100 Million Trees. Newspaper headline today, 100 million trees dying, dying, dying. 
California forest dying, and I'm tossing and turning this restless night, November 22nd, 2016, 53rd anniversary JFK assassination, two weeks after the election, awakened early by nightmares that fascists will take root, that the tree of liberty will fall, that I will lose my freedom. And then a cricket from the wild that's inside my house pulls me away from myself, returns me to the trees of California, dying from the inside out, dying from the drought, the oaks dying suddenly, Douglas fir on endangered lists, the redwoods now my secret sanctuary on the sleepless planet we call Earth. Uh, this one is from the 25th of November, 2016. It's called Orgy of Consumption. CBS radio reported on Black Friday that 3,200 TVs were sold at Target nationwide every minute for the first 60 minutes that the store's doors were open which makes, by my calculation, 192,000 TVs out the door, just in time for seasonal ads and seasonal lies from seasoned politicians. Sales right on target. Another miraculous day for the chains that bind us. So many happy consumers consuming themselves in an orgy of consumption. The ads a gloss on the news, and the news an incitement to consume. Thank you, Black Friday, for making America great again, and for enabling our couch potato nation to binge again on football, hockey, basketball, and fake news. This one is called Rescued More Women. It's kind of, it's kind of a continuation of, you know, I'm better than you sort of thing. I couldn't get away from it entirely. I have rescued more women than you have. I've rescued women from their fathers, husbands, mothers, sisters, sons, and daughters. Rescued them from their feminine selves, their anima and their animus, the moon goddess and the earth mother. Rescued them from maidenhood and sisterhood, pantyhose, patriarchy, and oligarchy. The chains of love and the veins of love, the veil and the corset. Free love, eternal lovers, women's liberation now. I've rescued more women than you have, my dear brothers. Rescued them from their own burning bodies, from bikinis and bras, dykes, dildos, and dicks, seduction and salvation. Rescued them from perverts and male chauvinist pigs, the looking glass, the glass ceiling, and the glass slipper, the rapist and the repossession man, the, the killer, and the conniving bitch, whoredom, boredom, widowhood, and spinsterhood, pimps, priests, marriage, and the holy family, the Virgin Mary, Madonna, and misogyny, Britney Spears, and all their fears, frigidity, and old age, loneliness, and listlessness, dryness, cancer, sadness, Chanel number no. five, and the little black dress, our mother, who art in heaven and in hell. For thine is the kingdom and the power. Earth angel, earth angel, will you be mine? Little darling, daddy's girl, you are my sunshine. So having read that one, you know, rescued more women, something was coming out from inside me, you know. One about women, I had to figure I had to want the right one for men, so this one has rescued more men. <clears throat> rescued more men. I have rescued more men than you have. Rescued them from the remote and emotional remoteness. Rescued them from manic depression, motorcycles, and masturbation. Brotherhood, fatherhood, the rights of man, the bloody rites of passage from boyhood to manhood. Rescued them from blue balls, the blues, the ridiculous belief in nothing but blue skies from now on. 
rescued them from the World Series, the Super Bowl, Superfly, Superman, World Domination, Daddy-O, World Wars, Bowling, Bullshitting, Beer, Beer Bellies, Bubba, the fear of failing and the fear of ailing, the fear of their mothers, their daughters, their fears of themselves, jock straps, bad raps, shooting craps, stupid saps, rescued them from the femme fatales of film and philosophical fatalism, from the flaw in the tragic hero, from Hamlet, Lear, Willie Loman, the Achilles tendon, the ancient Greeks, the geeks, the gods, feminine wiles, masculine piles, the curse of Adam, the high and the mighty, red devils and their own dangerous desires. I have rescued more men than you have rescued them from vagina envy, penis envy, purple envy, papa, macho, machismo, John Wayne, the military edifice complex, the mind-body dichotomy, condoms, crusades, the idea of chastity, penthouse, playboy, hustler, sports illustrated, domestic violence, gratuitous violence, domestic surveillance, men's groups, vasectomies, Vaseline, vitamin B, the white house, the white race, white hair, the shaft, the raft, the assembly line, the backfield, the final four, their own foreskins, the Washington Redskins, underarm overeating, performing in bed, and the fall guy, bigger, taller, smarter, stronger, M16s, missiles, erections, erector sets, the Midas touch, air Jordans, gang bangers, wimps, the wimp factor, farting, cowboys, gentlemen, the posse, prison guards, and the almighty phallus. Boys will be girls. Mad dogs and dogs and Englishmen go out in the setting sun. Take up the blind man's burden in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Play ball. Thank you very much. So, one more maybe? Okay, this one is supposed to be funny. Now let's see if it is funny. I was a teacher at Sonoma State for, uh, for 30 years, so I had a lot of experience in the classroom. With them, so. This is inspired, <coughs> inspired by uh, my teaching experience, and then this is I tell students. I tell students every year the same thing. I know it by heart. It goes like this. I tell students, you have nothing to worry about. Your whole life is planned out for you by folks you can trust. This is America. Nothing bad really happens here. Verizon, CIA, Dell have a place for you. Don't worry if you can't read or write. It isn't necessary anymore. Probably never was, except when Abe Lincoln was pressed. The software does it for you. Spell check, heaven is here. Everyone has an equal chance now. You can make it to the top. Suck up, it can't hurt. Bluff your way through. Don't let anyone tell you different. The 60s were a big waste. Believe me, I was there. You didn't miss a thing. It's ancient history anyway. I tell students, I admire you. I wish I were in your shoes. You have cell phones that I didn't have as a kid. Get it online, I say. Nobody can teach you anything, least of all your petrified professors. their brain-fried fossils who sold out long ago get lost in the halls and in their own heads. I tell students, you are beautiful. Idealism isn't what it's cracked up to be. You can say penis now on the radio, vagina in theaters. Pot now is better than ever before. eBay makes it easy to get the rich. You have it made. The millennium is here for good. Kiss the dumb, stupid 20th century goodbye. And don't worry, you can't lose. Even if you fuck up, there's always a loophole. Just find it. Use it or lose it. Cover your ass, I say, and then cover your ass again. That's the first thing I was told when they hired me, and I've been covering my ass for 25 years. And remember, you heard it here first from Jonah Raskin, your good friend, who's looking out for your interests, students, 
Dear students, God bless you.